So currently we have handled how to preview an image on the client side. As you see, whenever I choose a file like that, it will start appearing here with no more actions from me. So as you see, whenever I choose anything, it will be previewed on the image or on the, on the client side. So, but as you see, this photo actually was taken by a camera and it's just like it has a big size. We don't need all of that, especially if this one will be an avatar. So we will take later how to handle that in the upload uh, transformation features of Cloudinary. Right now, let's learn how to submit this to Cloudinary. So we need actually an Axios request. So let's set up Axios, but before that, let's, let me, we are here, no, we are here actually. Okay, let me tell you that I have made the input accept only files like image, PNG, JPEG, and all the formats of image that we need. But uh, this is not enough to just like predefine the selected files to be images. If we set all files, you will find that if we have files in this place, we are able to send them to the server. So this is not the way to set the input to enable uh, just like to accept only images. Uh, it's not a right way. And maybe someone will just like send you a video of one gigabyte. So you do not need to, and you do not have to accept that here or to crash the server because the file is so big or something like that. You can limit what's coming to this input uh, inside the server side, not inside the uh, client side. The client side will always just like send any file that he wants, even if after the accept input. So let's see how we can just like a, make a server request. So we will import Axios and I have Axios on my npm packages or the node modules so import axios yes from axios like that and on submit we have an on submit yes we have a handle submit and we will send to the axios request we will make that just like an asynchronous function and for the axios we need to make it with a result feature and uh, and await the upcoming results so await axios dot post we will post the data that we have and uh, here we should say what is the place where we want to send that which is a local host i guess i need here it's like two slashes yeah localhost 8001 which is actually here so now i have a post request and i need to send it a data we will leave this empty because we don't have any configurable or any options to configure our uh, no uh, sorry i i'll leave this one should be empty sorry the configuration is the third part of axios request but here we will send the image so i'll send something called an image and in, in it, I will put the image, which is actually coming from the state. So image is a string, which is will be sent with a property of image. I can actually just put the image here, but I do not want just like this, but I do not want that because I want a property to store the image because the image itself is actually just like an image page 64 and you saw how big is that. So we just need a property to hold this image inside it. Why well, it's not reading it? Yeah, it's reading the image right now. Now let's open a try and catch block to receive what is coming from the server, the, the response that is coming from the server. And in the catch error, we will console log the error. And in the try, we will console log the result that is coming but not all the result we will just need the data because you know that access send a lot of things among them 
there is the data that we need okay like that we will console the data that is coming in the server side we don't have anything right here and we don't have a cloudinary upload setup but let's just like console log the request body that is coming to us from the client side and respond with a json uh, which says i have received your data so we will console log the request body here and we will send this json to the network here let me open the network because the response.json will appear here and we will empty this and let's see what we have here if we upload it i think everything is okay the submit function the post that we have okay let's go back to the cell to the application so we have everything yes so the handle submit is okay and i think we are ready to get everything that is coming back we don't even need to read the data from uh, here we can read it from the console because i think i have put that in the console so let's submit okay please select the file there's the file let's empty this and submit Uh -huh, I forgot to just like prevent default here we have submitted the file so everything is okay but we need just like to prevent the default submitting a function of the submit function uh, and we can do that here yes we have uh, we have sent the no yeah okay so everything is perfect we have this the file here as you see in the request body with actually a property that is called image which is actually saving the the needed um, info that we need about the uh, base 64 image we can see the type of the image which is the data and we can see all the transmitted the coded version of the image which will be encoded and made to url and saved in the cloudinary so now we can handle the image let's see how we can actually start to make this or upload whatever that is coming from the body which is the image whatever that is coming from here let's put it inside cloudinary or upload it to cloudinary